Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Eureka Math. Today, we're playing with the basics. So please, my friends, make sure you're paying attention. The basics. We have a guest today. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Oh, look who's here. Mr. Corrector. How are you doing, Mr. Corrector? I am doing outstanding. How are you? Oh, I'm doing outstanding right here. I'm just here to help my students because they want to learn how to do math well. That is excellent. I'm sure your students will appreciate what you do. Oh, I know they do. They're an, an awesome bunch. I, I'm lucky this year. I have great students this year. Okay, Mr. Corrector, I have to get to the lesson. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for having me on your show. Oh, you're welcome. Have a good day. Okay, amigos, here we go. Let's tackle this uh, situation here. So let's pretend that uh, <clears throat> you have a number like this, like, for example, nine half. Okay? Look at this as if it's an answer. We got to create a sum. So... Your first step here is just to say, okay, well, you know, I can break down the nine into two groups, three plus three. So then I will say that three plus three equals six, but that will not make it. What if you say three plus three plus three, that will equal nine. So let's see. Through three halves and three halves and three halves. Three plus three plus three equals nine. And the denominator is the same, so it stays the same. So there you have it, my friends. All you have to do is break down the nine into equal groups. Okay? Now, to write this as a multiplication, you got to look at the groups. So now, how many groups do you have? Well, this is the answer, like we said. We have group one, group two, one, two, and three. So that is written like this, right? So now we have three groups of the same number, the number that is repeated three times. And that's how you write it as a multiplication. Okay, let's think of another number. How about we think of... <clears throat> Eight fourths. And once again, this is the number. So this is a fourth. And my first thought is, can I break this down into two numbers uh, that have the same um, equal value? And I can think of two numbers, four and plus four. So four plus four equals eight. Now we're done. We created a sum by breaking down the number, the numerator into two groups. How do we write that as a multiplication? Simple, my friend. You say you have one group, two groups of four fours. Okay, my friends? Now, if you want to be more technical, you can also say you have two groups of one because four over four equals one and four over four equals one. All right, let's do one more practice. So to finish this short video, I want this to be a short video so you can, how about we can do 12, uh, how about 12 halves again? So now my first thought is, okay, now I know that I have to do, do an addition. So can I break this down 12 into two numbers? Of course, my friends, you can break it down into two numbers, six plus six. So now we have six halves plus six halves. It will not change the value. Can you do it with different numbers? Well, I can think of, let's see. Can I say again, 12 can be divided, well, in three groups. If I do three groups, I know that it's going to be 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 12. So now I know that 12 halves 
can be written as an addition as four halves plus two four halves plus four halves. Okay, you want one more, my friends? I know that also I can make three groups of uh, four groups of 12. Now let's do this. So now we do this, uh, we add the uh, fractions, and, and the only reason I know we can do four groups is because I know that four times three equals 12. So now we're gonna do four groups of three because three plus three plus three plus three equals 12. One thing you have to make sure that the numerators add up to the number, the numerator on the expression. And the denominator is the same. Now let's convert all of these into multiplication. Two groups of six halves. This one is one, two, three sets of four halves. And our last example says two, three, four sets of three halves. Okay, my friends, there you have it. This is our lesson of the basics. Express fractions as equal fractions. My friends, keep reading and enjoy learning. Learning is awesome. It will make your life better. Right? Yes. Okay. Keep at it, my friends.